What's up everybody? OT for Tech here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Power Support Air Jacket for the MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina Edition. It retails for about $80 and can be purchased on the Power Support website. It comes in clear like the one we have here and it also comes in a matte black finish. So just to give you a quick look at what the packaging looks like, you can see most of the writing is written in Japanese and it comes in a plastic and cardboard type container and it's easy to open up. We'll go ahead and jump straight into the unboxing and see what you get inside. You get some suction cup anti-slip pieces that you're going to put on the back of the air jacket itself. You get some instructions explaining how to remove and put on the air jacket. And of course you get the air jacket itself beneath all of the other stuff. The first thing that I did prior to installing the air jacket on my MacBook was go ahead and install the anti-slip pieces on the bottom piece of the air jacket. So just line them up with the dimples and give them a firm press to make sure the suction cup adheres to the air jacket itself. You can always go back and adjust them or if you need to straighten them out later on. Next we're going to go ahead and install the top part of the air jacket with the top part of the MacBook. Just make sure everything is lined up. The arrows should be pointing down to the front of the MacBook where the lip is that opens it up. And the writing you should be able to read as if it was correctly placed even if it's in a different language. Go through each corner and each side and make sure there's a comforting snap to make sure it's on properly. When putting on the bottom part of this case to the bottom part of your MacBook Pro, just remember to work front to back. There's little grooves on the case that need to line up where the black trim is on the back of your MacBook Pro on the bottom. Just kind of slide it in. Once you have that in place, the rest of the case will actually click in and give you a comforting snap. And as I said, you go ahead and adjust the suction cups on the bottom to help with the anti-slip and grip. Taking a look at the side, you can see your SD card slot, your HDMI port, and your USB port fully accessible and the case does not get in the way with use of these ports and openings. The same thing goes for the opposite side. You have your charging port, you have two Thunderbolt ports, another USB, and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack opening, all fully accessible and completely free to use. The case does not interfere with use of these whatsoever. Taking a look at the front, it's that lip that you use to open your MacBook Pro. You're going to feel the case there. It doesn't dig into your finger or feel uncomfortable in your fingers at all, but you're going to know that there's a case on your MacBook. It kind of darkens the color, which I prefer. It takes the aluminum chases of the MacBook without a case and it gives it a darker gray, and I really like that. And of course, the glowing Apple on the MacBook Pro lineups is completely able to be seen and you do not need to worry about the case interfering with the lighting capability whatsoever. Going up the monitor to give you a quick look at it from the side, you can see the case does not add a lot of thickness to the MacBook Pro Retina Edition and it keeps the same form and same design of the MacBook Pro Retina. And I really appreciate that because the Retina editions were not meant to be bulky. They were meant to be lightweight and super portable. Here's a quick look at the bottom of the air jacket for the MacBook Pro Retina. You can see it has the suction cups adhered on the bottom to aid against the anti-slip performance. And they do work. We'll get more into it later on in the video. But you can see it does not add a lot of bulk to even the bottom half of the MacBook Pro. And it's still transparent. You're still going to be able to see through the case. It does have a darkening gray effect even on the bottom. But to me, I love the way this looks and I love the way it feels. Back to the anti-slip properties of this case. As you can see when it's on a table due to the rubber tips on the bottom, it's not gonna move, which is great. But when it's on your lap, due to the slippery feeling of this case because power support uses the same materials as their phone cases to aid against you know, anti-scratches and their self-adhealing properties, it's going to slide on your lap a lot. And it's also going to attract fingerprints due to it being a clear style case, but they can easily be wiped off with a microfiber towel or even a damp cloth. So no worries there. The case itself does not interfere with any kind of usability from the laptop, so you don't need to worry about that. I have encountered a few problems, one being that my computer tended to overheat faster with this case on it. And it's not specific to this case, it's with any case. And the back of the case did not properly clip on as you can see in the previous clip. The case is a bit expensive, $80 is a lot for a case, but if you're willing to spend $1,500 all the way up to $3,000 on a laptop, why not protect your investment? 
head on over to Power Support, check it out for yourself. Make sure you like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and follow me on Twitter. I thank you guys for watching.